Hi, this is Candace Freer from Cornell Cooperative Extension of Rensselaer County. And today we are going to start coding for our clover buds. <clears throat> so join me, Katie Candy Rue, Candace, and the Foos to learn about the basics of computer science through fun and puzzles again games with codespark.com. This is for youth as young as age four to learn about 21st century skills that will boost their performance in all subject areas. <clears throat> we'll get started together with puzzles. And once you finish the puzzles, you can create your own game or explore further. First, you're going to download the CodeSpark Academy on iOS or Android or visit http colon backslash 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 codespark.com backslash play. And I can start by typing that in. So it's https colon backslash backslash codespark.com backslash play. <clears throat> And you can hear the cute little music that starts playing in the background. So you'll be giving a classroom code once you reach out to me. Um, and once you get that classroom code, you're going to click the school icon up in the upper left hand corner, um, choose student and add that um, classroom code right into um, the place that it asks for the, the code. Um, you'll find your name. I'm going to sign in while I'm talking. So you'll find your name. Um, you'll click your name. Then you will create an avatar for the game, make a foo name, and then you are ready to get started. <clears throat> got a little loud for a second until that mute button came up. Um, so first we're going to complete all the puzzles and I'll show you what that is going to look at like. Um, learn what algorithms are, what sequencing and debugging means, grouping, decomposition, advanced sequencing, events, conditionals, loops, um, automations, data, sorts, and logic. And after you go through all the puzzles, you'll be ready to create your own game or explore further. So let's go ahead and check it out together. All right, so here is my avatar, Katie Candy, Candy Roo. And when I click on it, you can see puzzles, create or explore. We're gonna start with the puzzles today. And I've already gone through all of these, but you can, um, they will unlock when you go further and further. So um, it starts with just sequencing and then it goes into um, loops. And these are the foos that you'll be playing with. And then advanced sequencing, events, and conditionals. And there's many levels to all of these, but let's go ahead and take a look at the first level, which is just sequencing. <clears throat> all right, donut detectives. All right, so this foo wants to get her donut and we need to help her. And if you see down here on the coding line, if um, this little avatar is running and if we drag it up, dragged it up three times. If we drag it up, it has her running forward or to the right of my screen one time. And then if I click her, she completes the task. And she's happy about that because she got her donut. And then we go to the next one, donut detective sequencing two. Okay, so now it looks like she has to move two steps. So if I bring that up, we know she moves one step. And if I bring it up again, we know she'll move another step after that. So one, two, and she got her donut and she seems very happy about that. <clears throat> and you'll continue to go through all of these and they'll get harder and harder. Okay, so now it looks like she has to walk and then possibly jump. So you can see this little avatar down here is jumping 
and she's jumping and she's kind of jumping to the right. And if I click that, she can jump straight up. She can jump and, and go to the right or she can jump and go to the left. So we're going to keep it so it jumps and goes to the right a little bit and then click on our foo. And she walked once and jumped once to the right <clears throat> and got her donut. OK, so you can see it's getting a little bit harder. So in this sequencing, what does it look like she needs to do? I think she might need to walk, jump, walk, jump. So I am going to try that. And she got it. <clears throat> So if you make a mistake, it's okay. That's part of the coding pro progress process. Um, you just want to go back. That's what debugging is for. And that's what's learning um, to think about where it went wrong and how you can fix it. Oh, this one looks a little bit tougher. Okay. So what do we think? When does she have to walk? So walk, jump, jump, walk, jump, jump. And you can see if I have it jump straight up, what she does. <clears throat> Click on the foo, walk, jump. Now she just jumps straight up. She didn't jump and go to the right, so she missed the donut. So if I change that back, I can hit this redo up in the right-hand corner. It will save my code, but then I can try again. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and now she seems happy. So this is meant for you to get started, but then you can keep exploring um, and finishing out the puzzles. I'm going to go home so you can see there's um, lots of different puzzles and all of the little worlds that they have set up. So <clears throat> go ahead and play. I didn't mean to click on that again. Go ahead and play and keep going. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me, kmf83 at cornell.edu. And that's, again, how you get the classroom code to get started. Hope to hear from you all soon. Bye.